Today, on this 2008 Honda Ridgeline, we're going to install part number 13385 from Kurt. Alright, now this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the vehicle. Next, we'll go ahead and give you some measurements that help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a bicycle rack, a cargo carrier, or a ball mount. From top of the receiver opening down to the ground will be 17 inches, and from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper will be 3 and 3 quarter inches. Now, I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and lower the exhaust. There are two rubber hangers on the muffler, one going towards the front and one going towards the bumper. We'll spray them down with some lubricant so we can slide them off. All right, now I'll go ahead and show you the attachment points. There are three threaded holes on each frame. And at the center of the bumper, there are two threaded holes. Now we'll take a moment to clean out the threads. We'll spray it down with some lubricant and use a tube brush to help clean out the threads. We'll be using part number 814092. Now the newer the vehicle is, the easier it is to clean out the threads. The older the vehicle, this may take some more effort to clean out the threads. And in the worst case scenario, you may have to use a thread tap. So we'll clean out the threads and thread one of the hitch bolts in until we know we can thread it in easily. Now at this point, we can go ahead and start installing the hitch. You want to have an extra set of hands to help hold the hitch up. We'll slide it over the exhaust and into place. Now when we install the hardware, we'll use the 12mm bolts with the conical tooth washers. Make sure your teeth on the washers are pointing up towards the hitch. We'll put our bolts in the frame first, then we'll snug the bolts up a little bit to make sure that the holes and the bumper will line up with the hitch. We'll go ahead and install the bolts that go into the bumper, and then once everything's installed, we can go ahead and tighten down the bolts, then torque them down as specified in the instructions. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the exhaust. We'll take the rubber exhaust hanger down, we'll attach it to the post that's provided on the hitch, and we'll also attach it back to the muffler. Now the muffler hanger will actually be above the hitch. Once it's installed, we'll go ahead and add a flat washer and the lock nut to the threaded rod that's on the hitch. That'll secure the rubber hanger in place. And with that, that'll finish it for our install, part number 13385 from Kurt on our 2008 Honda Ridgeline.